Hello, we're back, and we have the all-star field now. A race for points, that doesn't mean anything, but for clout, there's all the bragging rights on the table. 24 cars, one winner, 55 laps. Who the hell is it going to be? Here we go. Taking the green, green flag is out. And holy cow, these guys are going to fucking kill each other before the day is over. I can already tell the competitiveness of this field is a lot stronger than the other, than the open, I will say. Duke led them down, got the pole, but I have no idea what's going to come out of this. Keep it three wide for now. Everyone seems to be decently fast. Well, at least most of the drivers are fast here anyways. Got a lot of surprise drivers in the All-Star race as the back of the field is definitely a lot more thinned out. Some drivers just happy to be here. Others digging as hard as they can. As Krugermeyer and the two. Vet Nation, the open winner, Mixing it up decently well here. Other drivers here. Born ready. Stuck in the middle there. Getting the fan vote in. And Shoppa and Kryptonite back there somewhere. Also from the open. Everyone else is all good. Hyperdrive. Sitting in the middle there. There's just so much. Now the front seems to be thinning out though. I mean, for a track that runs like a plate track, you see Purcell out front. Who would have thought? As the big, meaty middle of this group here is uh, definitely uh, dangerous to some. Very dangerous. You don't want to make a stupid move. Or else you'll just, or else the pack is grass. His top two looking like a fucking tandem. Jesus. Krugermeyer, Bissell, just all over each other. The 48's been a consistently competitive car number in this series. And see it up front again is almost just fucking prof prophetic. Prophet? Prophecy? Prophet? Prof fuck, man. I just want to have words. Now the single filing is doing decently well as Jerry, RS, and CS now join the single file train. Maybe these guys are a bit smarter in the all-star race. Maybe they're something to do with tires. Expecting this to be a one-stop race, although who the fuck knows what these dumbasses are going to do. Jerry... Taking a stab at second right here. It could very easily happen, but nah, it's not going to happen. Yeah, there's a lot of drivers you yeah, drivers don't expect to be up here. Kyle D. Running eighth right now. He's having a time. Just doing fine. Just looking for any easy passes to make. See the 51 up high. That's a pass that you'd... I mean, if he's up that high, go for it. Duke giving you a little bit of a push. Take it three wide low. Got the help of a much powerful car behind you. Then there you go. Krugermeyer now out front as... They're kind of forming two groups. It's like... The faster cars are actually able to have more traditional racing while the slower drivers just pack race it. Um, guys like Kerbo and whatnot. Whoa, Hyper checked up a ton going through the turn here. He's not really checking up for anything. He just checked up. 
And now Hyper owns a pretty decently sized pack behind him here. Got some pretty big names in here too. We got Racer, Blasta, Ladion. I mean, that was a pretty big divide between the front and back half now. Let's go back to the 34, trying and failing to take the lead. Bissell going to get it back on that run, though. And he knows what's up. Now the 11 of CS Fastlane 11 is decently in the mix, and he's moving to third, getting some good passes in. The two of Krugermeyer still holding his line, though. Yeah. I mean, be, I mean the, the prestige of being an all-star is definitely, like, enticing, but so far... These guys playing it more safe. <laughs> Ye old dreaded train racing. Oh no, it's like actual restricted plate racing. How terrible. Fuck man, that two car is getting to a pretty good lead too. See them going to one. Uh, about the single file, come to know. Jerry getting strung up high. That's really about it. Uh, trying to get that quarter panel tap going. Love tap to a 36. Try to make something happen. Seems like the only drivers with power worth a damn right now are Bissell and freaking Krugermeyer. That's all they got. The two and the 48. Eh, Jerry put down a pretty good lunge going to three right there. Mizzou's racing his way up. And Hyper redeeming himself as well. Look at that go. They put Duke three wide high, so... Yeah, they really did a number on him. I couldn't tell you what the leader, who the leader could be, because it's just two drivers up there. We can go back there if you want to. The 48, really loving just pulling it out there. Twenty-one, sixteen, five. There are three wide behind them. That's a pretty good there right there like definitely feels like the power of the cars that we see in the all-star like the quality has just provided a completely different discipline of racing as jake is turning the 51 rs in the wall feel over cars involved oh karibo goofy more what a mess. The hell happened to the 28? Okay. Jesus Christ. Alright, what the fuck actually happened? Yeah, you can see, coming through there, he just... He just hooks him, going into one. And the 21 and the 51 are fucking locked. Right there. And... There he goes, right in front of Mizzou and Ace as well. Vent Nation barely got a piece of it. Should be fine though. Karibo just full send it right in there. And Karibo got hit twice afterwards. Goofy and Ladion just throwing away their all-star chances. Uh, speaking of that, what the fuck happened to Kryptonite? Uh, okay. Yeah, turn one, Ladion got into Kryptonite, causing the 
28 to hit the wall, but they stay green. I want an onboard of Jake. Like, this looked about his intent. This, like, I don't know what the intent was. Like, he probably should have lifted off the bumper sooner, but the second they hooked, he just dug it in. Jesus Christ. How the fuck do you even pull something off like that? So, yeah, they're just getting done their pit stops. Because they're, like, about halfway, two-thirds through a run and whatever. I mean, 51's out of the race. He probably pulled that sucker into his pit stall, hopped out, and just ran up to the 21's pit box, trying to start some shit. But, uh, yeah. I'm sure that the 21 driver will get an earful after this race is over. Uh, Vent Nation's damage actually turns out to be a lot uh, more um, Turns out Vent Nation had an extended stay in his pit stall. I thought he got some more damage from that crash, but They definitely did a good job masking it although the 16 is a lap down um, Yeah, so those one, two, six cars DNF'd. Sounds about right. As we're going to get this puppy back green. Now the 16 dies. Uh, pace looks a little off. Uh, rip 16 as green flag's back underway. Toad Warrior going for it. CS Fastlane 11 still in this mix though. Not, not bad, not bad. And the whole field clears for 16. Definitely more of like lunging sends rather than um, traditional like racing by the pack. Although Hyper's in this group too. See what he's got going. The 23 is just taking care of business on the low side. 77 Misty Vipers. Uh, I'd be scared of him if I was if I was around him. I'd be a little scared. S77 drives fearlessly. Yeah. Nothing more scary than a man with nothing to lose. Whoa, Exalta going way down the track. Oh, back up and they How did they not crash? They saved that son of a bitch. Back up front, you see Duke pushing Hyper clear to the lead. An all-star winner in your lifetime. Get you a life su lifetime supply of all-star tickets. A couple drivers know what that's like. Will somebody else get the experience of the all-you-can-eat all-star buffet? Now the 11. The 11, CS Fastlane 11, he's, he's, he's low, he's there. Giving a good old, good old, a good old effort, pushing. Bassell, he's back. Yeah, he's back. Yeah, all the all these drivers are guys. I mean, we did have one not guy, but they're not with us anymore. So yeah, they're kind of strung out in the back, especially with the um, close call. With I think it was Exalta, close call. Yeah, that. But now they're back to back to racing the way it should be. Go as low as you can. Like these drivers on the front stretch, they'll go low as shit. And they'll try to merge back up on track. But if there's not enough room for them, then they just kind of uh, try to improv it. And that ends terribly every time. CS Fastlane 11 actually holding the lead so far. Doing a job here. Doing a great job. The 11. They're racing pretty close to each other. Duke and Toad. I thought they looked pretty close on their rear bumpers. And Krugermeyer looking for the low push to get around. There he goes.
Uh, 16th lap down, so I can't tell where he is on track by the ticker. Oh, never mind. It's right there. They're going to go put Vent another lap down. Yeah, it's it's whatever, man. I mean, he won the Open, and he's getting turned. Vent Nation, and oh, there they go. Oh, that's a crash. Big crash in turn three. That was, huh, that was, a uh, damn, they really passed the buck on that one. I thought that wouldn't happen for the longest time, but there they go. You see Vent, like, he's getting lapped. But he just gets in front of the 23, and the 23 just does not let him have it there. Then they come back up on track, blast up, slides it in front of the 23. Several drivers getting damaged but getting by, and then not so lucky for all these guys. Kyle D doing a great job avoiding it, but others in the back spitting out, involved in a wreck of their own. Uh, all right, one more angle. All right, one more fucking angle. I want a helicopter cam it in real time. All right, here we go, boys. This is what it looked like. Yeah, the 23 just got to him. Blast uh, carried too much speed, and that just causes everything to go down. Several more drivers. Bissell, he had a good day going, too, but... Uh, that's the woes of racing here. They're all going to be pitting again, so they'll definitely, most likely won't need the green flag pit to the end there. I see a lot of drivers coming off pit road. Nobody stayed out, I could tell. So Jake is still out there one lap down. Vent is somehow still alive two laps down. Um, Shapa and Born retired, and several drivers are still clinging on to their lead lap status. Huh. Ah. Yeah, 21, still out there. I mean, with these two wrecks, you've seen how they happened. You'll definitely see... The 16 getting up in arms with the 23 after this race, so there's going to be fight night after we find out who wins this all-star race coming up. Here they go. Krigermeyer, Hyper, Toad. Blast is still, he's still keeping it real around there, but I don't think he's going to have the same power as other drivers are. Toad Warrior. Winning everything in that fucking David Reagan car. Tell you what. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about David Reagan because no one wants to hear it. But, uh, yeah, I will say that still several drivers working their way up the pipelines trying to get to this all-star win. Jerry in the 34. Kyle D in the 8 has done everything right this race. In that underpowered 8 car. Doing the bare minimum to get the most he can. Duke sitting in ninth. Yeah, look at Misty Viper in the 77. He could take it very easily. Get it done here. We've kind of had a couple medium ones. Not exactly a big one, but... A little more than a little trouble. Jerry trying to outrun the entire Highline train right now. And Krugermeyer switches teams. Starts trying to run the low side to get it done. Ah, the interesting issues here that have taken place. And... It's still got a decent amount of laps. 
run this green flag stint to the end because the caution, not the caution. No way. Uh, there is no caution, by the way. We're still green. But the fuel window was about 28 to 30 laps. And we've had routine cautions to the point where these drivers have been able to all pit under yellow and get back going. So unless somebody's playing cheeky with the amount of fuel they're trying to put in their car, then everyone is basically on the same strategy. The 77 trying his damnedest to get this fucking all-star win. Like, he ain't got any quit in him, tell you that much. But 34, Jerry. He's had himself a bad season as both the lap cars, Jake and Vent, are there. As Misty pulls under, almost gets turned and saves it. Like, somehow, Jake holding up... uh. Those of Hyper and Racer, though. It's like, no matter where the 21 goes, he's just always got somebody breathing down his neck. Uh, I guess now that he's done being a defending champion, he's got a little bit of company to try and take him out. So it's Kriegermeyer, Jerry, Toad. Misty somehow did not die. He's sitting back. I believe he's sitting in Way back. Back to 8th. Jesus. Yeah, the top three are just rolling now. Kyle D is going to walk to a top five finish because of just dumb luck. Uh, wouldn't have it any other way. Eh, Jerry's trying to get this all-star bread. So, fuck it. Make, it. make it happen, buddy. The front row cars trying to make some shit happen. I mean, what you got your season one champion and your season two all star winner, and then you got just Jerry. He's been around, and at 34, still trying to hold his own. Toad Warrior, not exactly in the giving up, he's giving it a fight. That's all. I mean, you've seen the dominant stretch that 36 has been on. I know he missed that one race that nobody shuts the fuck up about, but he's playoff bound, and getting a second All-Star title would round out a hell of a good season he's already having. Now here comes Italian Bum going his first lap down. You know, it really sucks. That 33 is just trying to exist. That's all it is. This probably had a he had a good season two, but then he kind of fell off in season three. It's it's a sad tale, being a former good driver. But Jerry is bringing it home so far, and Kyle D's actually got company for his fourth place, so I don't think he's gonna get that one as secure as I thought he would. Knock, knock, it's hyperdrive. But that's not, not about that battle or about this lead fight here. If Toad could just zero in on 34. I'll try and spectate cam to get like a more um, track covered in one camera shot. Vent and Jake are back. And guess what? Toad got duped. 34 is running. Oh, man. The Hyper is going to try and get an easy time around this lap traffic just so he can get to the fucking lead group here. Now nah, he's staying high. He knows. He knows. The issue with staying high is it's definitely a tough time around lap cars. But Racer's getting just absolutely butt-fucked back there. And they're fucking having a time around these cars. Yeah, it does feel like Talladega Light, doesn't it? Alright, meanwhile... Toad... 
right there with Jerry. These two were at, going at it at Monroe County. And guess what? Back at it again with the fucking all-star race. Krugermeyer has other plans, though. Wants an all-star title for himself. Hyperdrive sitting solidly in fourth. Not sure if I'm most likely won't have enough time to run up and take it, but it's a good drive nonetheless. Five to go. Uh, any who's the next lead lap car going lap down? Would be Basel and Exalta. Those two will probably stay on the lead lap. At the top three closing in really hard. Side by side, four to go. Krugermeyer making it three wide. Oh god. Oh god, he's lunging for it too. There's no giving up in this fucking mini group here. Toad's got a he's always been playing second fiddle to whoever the fuck's been leading, it seems. And he's got to figure something out. Coming to the three to go. Jerry going for the lead. <laughs> uh, Jerry going for second. Not sure if he's going to make it stick, but he's going to try. Krugermeyer just too much distance out there. It's going just so much. Oh, jeez. Two laps to go. The distance seems too much to make up. Even hyperdrive and fourth is looking closer to the other guys. And a lot of the fields just kind of single cars running where they are. White flag for the two. Talk about running a good race here. He's done what he needs to. And now he's going to try to look to reassert himself in this season by taking an all-star victory for himself. Kriegermeyer here to stay as he comes off turn four and wins the season three all-star race. Oh, man. I'll tell you one thing. If this race is going to prove anything, it's going to be... The garage is going to be a busy place. Duke is going to hear all the shit talking from Vent Nation about the second caution. And Jake is going to hear it all from RS Fasten 11 regarding that first caution. Whew, man. Well, here's how the final result stays out. The cars that were transported to Pit Road and retired got accidents. And those were able to drive back to Pit Road, but couldn't repair it. Got retired. Several drivers laps down, and just a big group of lead lap cars. But in the end, only one could be all star. And with that, we'll see you next time in the points race of wherever the fuck we're holding it. Peace.